Hi, welcome to divisive clustering for minimum spanning tree example. Here uh, we have to build the minimum spanning tree from the graph by selecting the edge cost, minimum weight edge cost uh, based upon the distance matrix. After that, we will get all the data points in single cluster. You look at here, uh, this is uh, the data point. All the data points are available in the single cluster. Then we have to split this entire cluster into uh, uh, entire cluster into sub clusters based upon selecting the largest cost edge. Then largest cost edge will be uh, removed first. You look at this. This is the largest edge cost. So we are removing this uh, four edges which are having the um, uh, largest weight. So after removing that, we got uh, subclusters here, five clusters. So then again, we will apply divisive clustering method by removing the bigger cluster, bigger uh, edge cost. So next, next step, again, we will uh, apply the divisive clustering to remove this uh, highest edges one by one. So finally, you will get uh, individual data points, individual data points. So each data point will become one uh, single tone clusters. So this is the uh, purpose of divisive clustering in minimum spanning tree. And here the minimum spanning tree can be uh, visualized based upon the histogram. Here you look at that uh, this group of uh, data points are available in this cluster and this group of data points are available in uh, this uh, histogram and this cluster data points are available in this uh, histogram. Just this is for uh, uh, visualization, visualizing the clustering, clustering data points uh, in histogram. So based upon the uh, divisive clustering approach from the MS3 clustering, First, we will select the largest edge from the group of uh, edges. Then the largest edge will be uh, removed from the uh, cluster. Then you will get individual data points. Then again, uh, select the next largest edge. Then you will get uh, uh, some more clusters. Then again, you remove uh, next largest edges. Then finally, you will get single tone clusters for this given data points like in this manner, we will get all the clusters will be single tone clusters. Each cluster, single tone cluster will have only single data point in the cluster. Thanks for watching.